spin-off to the MX-4 with a larger and higher reduced display, more RAM and a fingerprint reader. The Meizu MX-4 Pro comes in a square retail box. Inside we have an AC adapter, the classic Meizu booklet with some vital descriptions on the features of the MX-4 Pro and the device itself. The contents continue with a micro USB cable and an SD placeholder with earphones not included description. The Meizu MX-4 Pro is slightly larger than the MX-4 due to a bigger 5.5-inch QHD screen up front. Another novelty is the finger scanning home button under the display. On the top, the MX-4 Pro has a 5MP camera and the earpiece. The underside of the phone holds a loudspeaker grill along with the micro USB port and the main microphone. The right side has nothing but the curves of the phone, while on the left there is a single piece volume locker. There is a noise reducing microphone on the top, a headphone jack and the power button. Moving to the back we find the same 20.7 megapixel Sony made camera with a dual LED flash. We can pry open the plastic back cover to reveal the embedded 3650mAh battery. The Meizu MX4 Pro runs on Slimy OS 4.1 on top of the latest Android chipset. You can unlock the device with a swipe on the dark screen, then lock with a hold on the home button. Slimy OS lacks an app drawer and all your apps are saved on the home screen in your folder. The station area offers a row of cutouts you can go inside it to show off. You get to the task switcher with a swipe and can close individual apps or all of them at once. The settings menu is divided in full screen mode with group settings on the left and individual settings on the right. Set up a fingerprint and switch to unlock the Meizu MX4 Pro. The process is easy and intuitive and resembles Apple's touch ID setup. Meizu has added what they call Smart Touch to the MX4 Pro. It's a small dot that you can place anywhere on screen. It can minimize the screen content to half of the display canvas, just like on iOS. Swipe on the small dot will 